There he is, man. Justice, the Florida Unified Cruiserweight Champion, trying to make a name for himself here against Polka Fan. He's not worried about making a name for himself. He is the man here in Florida, the Florida Unified Cruiserweight Champion. But he's not worried about that title tonight because he's not on the line against Polka Man. He's worried about advancing from the first round in the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup. I tell you what, Robin, we are the biggest mark for the tuxedo shirt ever. Cole Cabana really dressing up for this match. Come to the ring with the tuxedo. Wait a sec. That was just a teaser. So, so, uh, uh, well, it's all supposed to do is, baby. Don't worry about it. Unbelievable. Cole Cabana, you want to talk about personality personified. This guy comes into the ring. Huge reputation up in the Midwest where he's had wars with CM Punk. But tonight he's in there with Justin. Justice now being back into the corner. Very powerful is Colt Cabana with the seating the quick at a high five. Very nice. <laughs> you what? This guy is, again, very, very amusing. But somebody you got to take very seriously. I got to ask you, Kendrick Foot, so when it comes to the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup, everybody says it's the 16th best cruiserweight from around the world. I don't know. Colt Cabana don't exactly look like a cruiserweight. Colt Cabana's been all around America. He's been to California with Revolution Pro. He knows the Lucha Libre style. He knows how to wrestle the Lucha Libre wrestles. You, you see him wrestle just as here, and you'll see he's very adept to the style. He knows what to do with these guys. He's been around IW events, mid South with the guys like CM Punk, who is also in this tournament. Colt Cabana, a very justifiable cruiserweight contender. Ring of Honor looking very closely at Colt Cabana. Everybody loves this guy. And like I said, he comes in here, says some very Manilow of all time in music, and he's in there doing some type of electric boogaloo slide deal when Justice comes to the ring. He's the type of guy that acts like he's all fun and games, but when he's getting kicked in the back of the knee by those vicious kicks by Justice, he's going to take this a hell of a lot more serious. Nice arm drag there by Justice coming off the rope. Now coming at him, Justice knocks him down, hits the rope. Paul Cabana with a drop down, three frogs. Arm drag there from Colt Cabana, Justice coming back, and he misses an arm drag, but comes right back with the leg sweep. Colt Cabana very quick, just is able to get out of that count. Chuck Sutter and Larry, it does Justice coming back, goes for a back body drop, Justice counters it, Colt Cabana counters it, and an arm drag there by Justice to start this baby off. Justice overcoming the size difference very well. Colt Cabana, though, using that size to his advantage early in the match, leveling Justice with some huge shoulder blocks, and he's trying to use the weight and the height advantage that he's got to wear down Justice early. But I'll tell you what, I think he's going to have to come in with another game plan because Justice is deceivingly strong and tough himself, and the guy's as quick as a cat. Colt Cabana is very quick. You saw him keep up with Justice there, and that's why that alone shows you that he can go with the cruiserweight. Now with that hard lockup, just bringing Justice to the ground, working on the track. Again, oh. he's using that size, the height, and the weight to his advantage, pushing Justice to the mat, and comes back with two big four. Oh. Look at that wicked elbow, leveling Justice. Where the hell did that come from? From his elbow. Oh, it did. You're exactly right. Again, that's why you're the technical expert. Oh, oh. look at that chest. And he hurt his hand on the Chesco protector deal that Justice wears. Well worth it though for Cole Cabana to wear, a wear down a guy like Justice. Oh, and a next step. Very nice. Sort of a little kung fu there. Please, please stop. Well, the martial arts expert in this match is supposed to be Justice. But Cole Cabana, once again, a ring veteran. Oh, another head twist he deal used with the feet. Sort of a variation of the twist of feet, but instead of having your feet twisted, you're using the feet to twist in the neck of your opponent. Twisted feet, yes, indeed. Whip off to the rope, Justice reverses, goes after him, oh, and catches a boot right to the face. Cole Cabana going very quickly up to the second rope. Justice comes in, gets locked up. Oh, a nice snap, two points rolled over right into a bin by Cole Cabana. Again, you've got to take this guy serious. He comes out here, acts like it's all fun and games, 
and like he's playing around. You can see he's got his game face on now. This guy's got to be a good 260. Once again, laying in a top. The crow getting behind Justice. Paul Cabana not liking that one bit. And he whips in Justice. Goes for a back drop. Justice, when he puts over the top, meets him with a kick right to the mid Takes oh. him over with a beautiful sit-out snapmare. Oh, a kick him right in the back of the head. Very unique for Justice to shoot. Oh, and another snap man there. Barely able to get Cook the Ben over. And a nice standing move out there for Justice to get a near fall. Justice feeling the effects of the beating he's been taking at the hands of Cook the Manor. Go for that second snap man, and he basically had to force him. And if you feel that snap man, you can't fight it off completely. Either you go with it, or you end up with a broken neck. And that's the situation that Cook the Manor found himself in. Justice got a wing block, almost going for a German. Now, Cook the is now locking him up in another version of the Nablino. We saw this before. Mixing it with the Tissy Tangley in it. Just like a look at that smile, smug look on his face. I'll tell you what, the guy seems oh big headbutt by Cole Cabana. Sends Justice down to the canvas. But it looks like Cole Cabana feeling the effect of that headbutt. Then he takes the right hand, sends it crashing down the head of Justice. Beautiful elbow drop. This guy is a real strange mix. I grew up in the Midwest on AWA wrestling, and it seems like he takes a little bit of that old school style. Very, very physical. Lots of punches, lots of kicks, resort to the elbows. But then he mixes in, like you said, a mix of that Lucha and Pierce. So the guy, you have no idea what he's going to pull out of this bag old thing. He's definitely got Justice very well scouted. Very surprised, sir. Is Justice on the receiving end of a big clever and by Cole Cabana? Cole Cabana, very cocky, very carefree. But you gotta wonder with a guy like that, he's more dangerous because of that. You know, the real. What, to do. what do you do with that? I don't know. There's a keto clutch there. Justice rolls up. Oh, just able to get out of that. Nice use of leverage there by Cole Cabana. Cole Cabana has made it known he's wanted to make his presence felt here in IPW for quite some time. And his schedule was free during the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup. And we're lucky to have him here. Look at Justice. Oh, what beautiful. Beautiful world. Flying head scissors into the arm bar by Justice. Has him suspended in there. Cole Cabana reverses out of it. The pressure of the two, but Justice. Very quick and nimble like a cat. Blow it right into that kick you got to man. Once again, though, Justice is usually used to walking on maneuvers such as that. On people like Darrell Clark, possibly Mikey Tenderfoot or Nassali. He's not used to walking on a maneuver like that. On somebody the size of Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana very easily fought through oh. the submission move, but he ain't tight to be kicking Oh, it's going to get hard to get through that back and just though Colt Cabana with quite the physique on him. The, oh, 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 the fight physics and this isn't the physics department which would explain all the gravity but my god unbelievable Cole Cabana just basically sends Justice corkscrew into the air and crashes to the canvas Justice has a huge match tomorrow at the Palladium in TV where he defends that Florida Unified Cruiserweight title against David Babylon Whoa. and Napoli but once again he had his hands full here at the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup, taking on Colt Cabana. This is a hell of a match, and this is our main event tonight, Mikey. This is unbelievable. Justice on top of Colt Cabana now, trying to get some momentum going against Colt. Here, very in the, the middle of the match, trying to fatigue, but coming with that moment, plum strike, and there it is. Whoa! He takes out Colt Cabana with a wicked, roaring palm strike that levels Colt Cabana, who promptly oh. backslaps Justice, who lands on his feet here at the WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> he kicks the legs out, oh right out from underneath Colt Cabana, who's draped on the bottom row. Oh, the 727. I've never seen a 727 before, but it was very, very impressive. Justice is starting Colt Cabana to the floor, and he gets back in the ring. Oh, I'll no. tell you what. Usually a countout is not the, the motive. Well, wait a minute. Oh, it Hold on. Here is the first game special fine Gibrata. On the top of Colt Cabana, but caught enough of the big man to send him to the floor. Once again, Justice got to be thinking. Get in the ring. Let your opponent be counted out. A win is a win here at the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup. I don't care if it's DQ. I don't care if it's countout or pinfall combination. You win the match. You advance, Henderson. Justice now rolling Colt Cabana. He looks like he's going for the four. Can he hit it? I hope that he could. I hate to be somebody that's root for a homer here. Absolutely cheering for the guy here from IPW. That is the 40 to 5 Cruiserweight champion. But I can't help myself. I absolutely love Justice. Not something I go partying with the way he dresses. But I love watching this guy compete. 
and Colt Cabana has got more than his hands full, but now he applies, just like I said earlier, a beautiful bear hug. Now he goes into it. What the? What is that? That's a, that's a double wing like Oh, it brings it to a butterfly. Sit out. That's your no-food driver. Vicious and Justice just able to kick out. Justice has a condition. It's amazing the condition this guy has. He's got Galvin classes every week. He goes to the castle and Ebor and dances all night long. It's amazing. It's strange watching the class and styles, the contrast and styles in the middle of the race. Boots of Man is like watching a mixture of Nick Ross oh. Winkler and the great soccer game. Justice, unbelievable. Get that! Oh my god, I thought he had him! Colt Cabana almost beat our champion. He wouldn't be the 40 to 5 Cruiserweight champion, but more importantly, he would be advancing in his great tournament. Justice, the Shogun reincarnated warrior, throwing, going toe to toe with Colt Cabana, now coming back, coming off to the shoulders, looks like he's going for a victory roll. Colt Cabana, a return! Justice got Colt Cabana right where he needs him. Got one, two, Oh, come on, referee. Hey, the ref even looks a little disappointed. He's got to be impartial. He's got to call it right down the middle. You know what that's all about, Tenderfoot. Oh, yeah. I almost poked on my Kool-Aid at that two times. I thought he had him right there. Pulled Cabana down and out, it looks like. Trying to get back to his knees and to a vertical base. Just is staggering all over the ring, but definitely hasn't looked about him now. Goes for the rolling palm. Misses. Pulled Cabana up thunder. Whips him in, Justice reverses, kicks him right in the head out of a handstand. Justice now getting Colt Cabana up. Oh, and kicks him right in the face. That's got to be it for Colt Cabana. He's going up to the top. 450, Kenny Hennedy got him set up in perfect position. Stands up. 450, there it is. One, two, three. Huge win for Justice. He advances in the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup and fans. We're so proud that we were able to bring these matches to you tonight. And we'll see you tomorrow.